I know it's weird, but I really, really fancy a pint. That thought just hit me out of nowhere when I was getting dressed this morning. I mean, I'm not even that much of a drinker, but there's a certain feeling you get when you raise a full glass of cold lager to your lips and you take that first mouthful. You never know exactly what it's going to taste like, but you're always pleasantly surprised. And then you have so much more of it to look forward to. There's a pub in Streatham that my friend Ashley always wants to go to. I forget what it's called, but it's really nice. It has this massive beer garden out in the back, so which is great in the summer. And then in the winter, you sit inside on these huge leather Chesterfield sofas and gaze at the murals of scenes from Alice in Wonderland covering the walls. The food's shit, but the staff are really friendly. And it always seems so peaceful. There's a couple of people playing pool and a few other groups having a quiet chat. And you can go there on a Friday night and still hear your friends talk, which is a rarity in London. I really want to be there now. It's funny what you miss when you have absolutely no way of getting there. Little things like sitting in the cinema watching a brand new trailer or a oh, freshly brewed latte from the coffee shop. Oh. Or giving a big hug to a friend you haven't seen in forever. I don't miss the news though. Non-stop 24 hour news cycle can be very stressful. What starts as speculation at 1pm is either fact or myth by 4 and you need to either be constantly reading it or completely ignoring it, otherwise you just lose track of which way's up. I mean, what could possibly happen over the course of a day? Boris will say something ridiculous, Trump will say something worse, and we all go about our lives blaming whatever's gone wrong on whoever or whatever suits our worldview. Lava, rinse, repeat. People are awful. I mean, at least here we don't have access to any of that, let alone the time to read it. You, here you wake up, exercise, keep the projects ticking over, get some food down you and go to bed. It's a nice, efficient bubble. I mean, you wouldn't want to live in it for too long, but Routine can be comforting. What would the date be even now? So it's day 173, which I think makes it the 18th of March. That's 2020, in case you're watching this decades from now for some very specific history lesson. Poor you, sorry. Well, it could actually be the 18th or the 19th, depending on where you are. I can see the edge of Cornwall where the sun is setting on the 18th and from the other side of the little blue dot New Zealand is creeping into the light on the 19th. Good morning Kiwis, welcome to the future. It all looks so peaceful from here. 173 days, that's nearly six months I've been here since October. And I don't think I'm going to manage another entry before I leave. There's so much to do. The new crew have arrived a couple of weeks ago. They all seem great. And we've been bringing them up to speed as much as we can. But to be honest, I think their training was way better than ours. They already know things that we had to figure out for ourselves be absolutely fine by the time we leave in a few days. 
then it's just a short trip back to reality. One of the new guys mentioned that we're going to be aiming for the Atlantic this time, as the Pacific is too close to a virus outbreak or something. Hopefully not too serious, but, you know, better safe than sorry, I guess. I'm not actually sure who will ever see these little ramblings. I've always thought of them as something I'll show friends and family, just give them a glimpse of what life's like up here. Ashley, if you're watching this, I'm sure I've already wrapped you in that massive bear hug and we've gone for that pint. Oh, that would make me so happy right now. Anyway, I better go. There are many more wonders of life up here to initiate the newbies into. We've held off on the really gross stuff until the last minute. So, and now the fun really starts. And on that note, this is Rachel Stewart of the 61st Mission to the International Space Station, signing off and heading home. See you in the pub. <laughs>